Welcome everyone to a tutorial of mine on creating files. So I'm going to be using system.io. As you can see, I put it up here in the top part, and I'm going to be showing you three different ways to write files. Uh, the first one is writing text, which is you can see this line of code here it says to the T folder, which I have here, and I'll just move that out of the way so you can see here, and Basically, all you do is you go file dot write all text, and then you put this little at symbol there, because what the at symbol does is it allows you to have these uh, file path the slashes without them meaning anything. Um, so yeah, because like if this, for instance, wasn't there, I'm gonna have to stop this actually. If this wasn't there, then uh, try and run it. If I'm correct, you can't. No, maybe maybe you can. Uh, maybe it's a different thing in there. But anyways, uh, we'll, we'll try it. See if it does it. Right, there you go. Legal characters and path. So you're not actually allowed to uh, do it without the at symbol. So you want to do is shift at symbol, and then uh, we'll go ahead and click the write all text thing. Now we're gonna open this up, and as you can see, we've got text dot text. And you can see that uh, we named it here, and we'll open that up. And you can see it's uh, this is an example file which matches the text that I've written in here. So, and now we can do the next one, which is write all lines. And you see line one, two, three, and down here you can see I have instead of just a string, I have a string array. Line one, two, three. And it puts them on all separate lines. And now for a little bit more complicated, we're going to do a uh, write all bytes. Now, I created a, a method to handle this stuff because transferring text to bytes can be a little bit complicated. This is just the way that I like to do it. Um, you can also do things like using built-in stuff like write, or like, let's see, it's like convert to bytes, but it's... Uh, I think it's underneath the encoding stuff, but anyways, we'll not worry about this, we'll just do it this way. Um, so you have a byte array, called it bt, and we're going to convert it to bytes, and then we're going to say this is a byte message. Now down here, you can see we take this message, we convert it to char, a char array, which is individual characters, so like uh, first position in that array would be the t, next would be the h, etc. Then we create a byte array that's equal length, and then we can directly convert uh, between, or almost directly, you have to use the cast here, uh, casting the type a byte, so you convert, that's placing this array, and then you just return that array so that we can get it up here, and then instead of a string or a string array, we put a byte array there to write that. So, and we'll go ahead and, let's see, did I test that? No, okay, I haven't right hit. Okay, so I'm gonna click a button, and then here we go. Bytes.txt. This is a byte message, which is the same as what I had written here. So, um, if you need to save files, like uh, you know, if you create a word program or something like that, or if you have like a game that you want to save the place you're in that, or if you create like I don't know Excel or like image editor or anything this is very useful to use so um, that's the uh, file tutorial I guess you call it that and um, this is the way I prefer to write it there are other ways with uh, stream and um, like stream writers and stuff but uh, I prefer to write it just like this because C sharp makes it really simple to do that when you're using system IO so um, I hope that helps you and go ahead and leave comments in the comment section saying if you want to see me program something because I need ideas for videos to make. And uh, yeah, that's all for now. So I hope you learned something from this.